You know what? I'm actually gonna play through this again. Um. Yeah, let's try the uh, one I was gonna do again, except I don't want him to have Swerve Star. That would actually be a problem. Let's just give him the wheelie bike because it sucks on this course. Yes, you're seeing Beanstalk Park a second time, I apologize, but I want to try to accomplish what I intended to accomplish. I mean, that, as I said before, this is the part of the game where it's all open-ended, you know. Okay, I was checking my computer there for a second to make sure uh, it wasn't lagging or anything. It doesn't look like it. Okay, good. We got through it once. Uh, Wing Kirby. Doing pretty good. So, what can I talk about? Uh, oh yeah, Pokemon X and Y just got announced. By the time I get this freaking video out, though, uh, you watch and see, I'm gonna be like one of the last people in the world to even give my thoughts about the, uh, the games. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the legendaries actually are. Uh, Yveltan is the Y... Pokemon. It's like a legendary bird shaped like the letter Y. And then the other one, I can never remember what it is. Xerneas or something like that? If I even say it correctly. But, uh, the one that looks... It's like a deer, and it has really, really freaking long antlers. They're kind of weird, actually. Like, both of the legendaries that they, uh, had in the trailer. Uh, but at the same time, they are still kind of neat. But they are, like, weird at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. And if there was a bit of lag right there, I don't know if that'll show up in the video or not, but that was actually my game doing it, not the uh, capturing program. Uh, but let me think. Uh, the starters. Uh, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froki. All three are pretty cool in my opinion. I do like the starters that they showed. There's so much freaking uh, debate I'm seeing, like, everywhere I look, though. Oh, Fennekin better not become a fire and fighting type. I mean, it's a bit viral at this point. Uh, but I do have my two cents a little bit on that subject. Uh, it is a bit ridiculous that uh, for three generations in a row, Nintendo is using recycling the same dual type. Uh, a fire and fighting for a starter. Uh, and I'm not really seeing how Fennekin could become a fire fighting, but you never know. They could do some kind of odd evolution to completely throw you off, like Empoleon becoming water and steel, or, uh, I always reference water Pokemon whenever I make this claim, but it's true. The water Pokemon, whenever they get to their last evolutions, just look freaking weird like Samurott. I do not expect that from a baby otter. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do like the animation, though, if you have the Pokédex 3D uh, Pro for the uh, 3DS. And yes, we did uh, something awesome. Oh, the Ferris wheel. Durr. That's what I was playing for, anyway. Okay, I have to remember to reset the laps to def or recommended. Default's the same difference. But uh, Samurott uh, does have the cool animation where it pulls out like its swords. I think that's awesome, like from its arms. But at the same time, like I said, you know, uh, it's a baby otter, and you don't well Oshawott is anyway, and then it evolves into Duwat, which is still an otter. But then you see Samurott, and you're like, what? How did it become this? You know, baby otters are awesome, by the way. For those of you who don't know. You should know. Otherwise, you're a dweeb. <laughs> oh, come on. Anything cute like that, you got to love. I still debate which starter is my favorite of 5th generation. I know I'm, like, completely avoiding X and Y right now, but... Uh, it's just something to talk about. I don't know what my favorite starter is. Uh, I thought it was Tepig. The, uh, Fire Pig. But I... I have a problem with its last evolution. It's kind of like... Like Embor. Okay. It's not like weird looking. It's just kind of like plain. Or like stereotypical, I guess. More like it. 
I don't know how to explain it. It just looks kind of weird. Because it's like... A design that's kind of... I don't know, like, unoriginal? I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but I do like Oshawott a lot, too. And S I will say, though, Snivy is my least favorite. I don't hate it, but the other two are more awesome, in my opinion. I'm not really fond of the grass starters in any of the Pokemon games in general. And I know I'm kind of, like, making a contradiction here, because dur her her I am playing with, uh, uh, Trico, who's now Grovel. Grovile, however you like to say it, in my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play. Uh, but that was because most of my friends said I should pick it for this generation. I asked them what starter I should go with, and that's what they told me to pick, so I went along with it. I would have picked uh, Mudkip, but I have a problem with having so many water Pokemon in that generation, because we haven't reached the uh, oceans yet with my playthrough of it. And wow, that was completely unproductive. I'm going to leave that in because I had some uh, thoughts and stuff I was sharing over it. So, you got to deal with that. I'm sorry. I'm going to go here, though, and see what I can possibly accomplish in Machine Passage. I do apologize, though, that I didn't accomplish anything. Shoot three characters out of the cannon at one time. I suppose I could try the mission where I start in fourth place and then uh, finish in first. I could try that. And then there's Plasma Wisp. Plasma Wisps do appear a lot on Machine Passage. So that's a few things I could try. This I can manipulate. Uh, not with other controllers, but all I have to do is just get the uh, uh, computer players with the same machines, and they'll like synchronize to go in the cannon at the same time. And I'll also handicap it so that they like go freaking god-awful slow. So yeah, I think I might try that. Let me see what else I can do, though, on the course. Uh... And if there's anything here, I don't know what it is because I haven't reached that far yet on my randomized checklist. I actually had someone who commented, they're like, why is this mission in this spot on the checklist? Well, anytime you have a new file, it randomizes it. So that's your answer. Finish in first place without touching the walls even once. Oh my god, that'd be awful. I feel like the Swerf Star could easily do that, though. Because you have more control from avoiding the walls because of its sudden stopping. So we could try to do that, I guess? That's going to be terrible, though, with two laps. Exhaled stars I'm still working on. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, we'll go ahead and give this another shot. Now, like I said, I am going to have to manipulate this, though. Uh, I guess white works. Yeah, what I'm doing is I'm lowering the handicap as well so that they go like really, really slow. So I can take my time with uh, these missions. Again, this is the part of the game where if you manipulate it, you can just get the missions done. It might not seem legit to some of you, but hey, if you want to get all 120 missions, then you got to mess with these settings at some point in time. I'm trying to think what I should use. I guess the Shadow Star would be alright. Okay, let's give this a shot. As I said, I want them to have the same air ride machines because... Uh, of course I missed it with the star. Because I'm able to manipulate the cannon mission a lot more easier that way, because they'll be, like, synchronized with one another. Maybe. Let me see, where are they? Hey, you two. Slow down. It said three, so that's good. If I, I only need three. For some reason, I was thinking I had to get like all four. I'm like, oh, that kind of sucks. Here they come, a rolling. Oh, well, that sucked. And I bumped the wall, so that's automatically not cleared. Oops. Well, my only uh, chance now is to do the mission where you finish last, or I'm sorry, start the lap in last place and finish in first, miraculously. It is possible though, especially if you manipulate. What is he doing? I guess it's because I set them on like the lowest 
difficulty setting. They did not synchronize very well, though. And what is going on? See, this is how slow they're going. I'm able to, like, turn around and check on the progress of the opponents. That's how pathetic this is. Get your keister moving. I need you to go across the finish line so I can do this mission. Please! Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, maybe setting them on a low speed wasn't such a hot idea. Okay, so we can maybe get moving a little bit. You totally should have swallowed that. Okay. Okay, now I can't get moving for some reason. <laughs> oh my god, this is like the weirdest video I think I've ever done. Because everything's like going so awkwardly. This is what happens when you sandbox style everything. You can kind of make a little soap opera out of it. Oh, I think something else that might be throwing them off, too, is, uh... Oh, good! We got the cannon. That's great. Something else that might be throwing them off is that, since I'm in front of them, they can get the speed boost. Or basically, if they line their vehicle up with mine, they'll get, like, a drift that'll help them catch up with me. That's another setting you can actually adjust, uh... If you go to the, uh, menu screen, like, the options and you adjust uh, speed boost catch-ups. And we got a bunch of stuff accomplished, but I didn't hear the bell chime. Except once. There we go. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know what these are. Well, Plasma Wisp. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, shoot characters out of the cannon, and... We got the mission where we start the lap in fourth place, and then finish in first. And we unlocked a new air rod machine by doing so. Okay, I should go back and check what we can do for Checker Knights now. Um, I should have been paying attention to that. So yeah, by doing, uh, real quick here, by doing that one mission where we start in last place and move on to first to win, we unlocked Wheelie Scooter. Okay, finishing first with Sleep Ability, I'll still have to do that at some point. Use Spin Panel seven times or more and take first place. That sounds easy enough. I have to use the Wagon Star, which should work fine for that course. Yeah, I need to be reminded of that. Again, Wagon Start might actually work well with that, I don't know. Oh! That's a free run mission that I should have done a long time ago. I'll get to it eventually, though. Okay, a bunch of these are just like swallow enemies. Did I not get the fire? Hmm. Apparently not, because it's still there. Finish two laps in under two minutes forty seconds. With the wagon start, it should be doable. Anything else that I need to do on Checker Knights besides swallow enemies and do stuff? That's uh, pretty much the same with every other course. Still didn't do the chili mission. I thought I did this one, I guess not. doesn't look like there's anything. And the reason I keep ignoring this one is because I already know it's always the same one for this corner piece. If it went over 100 checklist blocks, it's always in the corner there. That's not randomized. Uh, everything else pretty much is. Okay, I guess this and the panels. And maybe other stuff in between if we can pull it off. Checker Knights, here we come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it would help to bring them back up to their regular difficulty levels. Oops. Oh, I'll have to fix that when I get back to it. Okay, there we go. And we're white. <laughs> I don't mean that in a racist way. Although, I'm sure I'll... There's someone out there who always thinks any kind of comment you make in that regard is still racist when you really don't mean it. Uh, and then there's always the saying where, no matter what, we're always racist, even a little bit, and that we don't show it. Which I guess is true, because we all have preferences over what turns us on, so to speak. Okay, stop letting the sword enemy hit you, please. And wheel works. Actually, really helps, because we can speed up a lot quicker through that rail section. 
I think we're doing good so far. I missed how many we had total. I like exactly what we had. I think it said like 71 or something like that. So we're getting there. Okay, here's those spin panels. Okay, I got five of them. So I only need to get a couple more on the next lap. I don't want to like slow down extensively and focus just on that if I can help it though because it does slow down my lap times. And if I make that jump, we can pop skip a do over that. <laughs> what board was that? Pop skip a do. <laughs> okay, I'm making my own vocabulary now. That tells you where the direction of my commentary is now going. It's getting weird. Of course, though, in places like Wonderland, as the Mad Hatter would say, uh, some say, in order to survive this world, you need to be as mad as a hatter, which luckily I am. <laughs> I totally need to make, like, a drawing. I've been thinking about this lately. I really think I need to update my, uh, primary, uh, YouTube icon, the Tobe Wonderland icon. Right now, um, I have the channel showing the, uh, icon that my friend made for me, uh, for Pokemon Emerald. Okay, I think I got enough panels, but I'll get another just to make sure. I'm pretty sure I had enough. Uh, but right now my channel is showing the uh, Totem Wonderland icon uh, with the Pokemon Emerald crossover. Okay, I think I only have like 20 seconds left to get the lap time. I should have got that wing ability. That would have really helped here. I think I can still do it, though. Oh good, the wall's not up. Oh, that was close. There we go. I should have got some of the chili enemies. I don't know what I was thinking. I could have gotten that mission done too if I'd focused on them. It's all about focus with these missions. Oh well, I still got what I primarily came for. Okay, finish two laps and... The spin dash panels. So we have this course unlocked. I don't know that I want to show it right now though. Um, it is... Okay, it's... Oddly linear, you'll do much better with machines that can go fast on this course, like high top speed. But I'm going to save it for another time. Uh, let me go back to the checklist now and see what I still have yet to do that I could possibly pull off as a last minute thing. Oh, finish race one lap without dropping below 20 miles per hour. I guess I could do that. I'd need to think about which machine I could use that can handle that sort of mission now. Uh, time attack checker knights. Glide for more than an hour. Yeah, that's gonna happen soon. It's gonna get to the point in the game where if I don't use the purple checks, I'm just gonna have to like replay a bunch of stuff over and over and over again, and hopefully I'll be recording when I'm actually accomplishing it. Uh, let's see what else. Celestial Valley, uh, I still want to put that off because I don't... I still haven't unlocked the Jetstar yet. I really need to get that unlocked. Oh, we have this one. Enter the quicksand three times to finish in first place. But then we have this one where you have to finish two laps in under a minute 45. Oh, great. That It's one of those deals where you have to redo a course multiple times because of certain settings that need changed. We still need to finish him first with fire ability. I need to find where I can get the fire ability a lot. Oh, I missed this one. Uh, use all of the boost panels to finish first place on magma flows. Hmm. Oh, and we have all these missions where we have to go over a certain distance. If I change it to uh, set of laps, change it to distance if that makes any sense. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. I might change to that soon, actually, because I'm seeing those are missions that I might have to do soon, and my god, I have to sneeze. Oh good, I prevented it. <laughs> I, I really did uh, have to sneeze there. I was almost ready to let it loose, but I held it in just in time. <laughs> I'm thinking I should do, like, Fantasy Meadows and maybe Magma Flows. Oh, and Sky Sands. 
So, you, again, you're going to be seeing a bunch of repeats here. I'm sorry, but it happens eventually. Let's use Swerve Star on this course. Oh, no, I actually don't want to use that. Uh, I gotta think of a machine that, like, is fast and won't drop below such a low speed. I'm leaning towards Wagon Star, which I think I will go with, actually. I don't want you to have that, because that could be problematic. I'll give you Bulk Star. I know it's cheese in my way, but... Again, I want to show how you complete all these missions, not how to suck. Oh yeah, they had the uh, Rocket Star. They would have that. Okay, yeah, I, I'm really gonna like keep focused on my lap time here. Or not my lap time, my speedometer, pardon me. Yeah, that, that curve there where the hairpin's at is gonna be a bit of an issue. As long as, I mean, Sword Kirby does help here, because I don't have to worry about uh, going too slow, because every time you hit an enemy, you actually do get a miniature speed boost. Okay, I don't know who hit me, but, oh, okay, well that lap time was ruined. There's a Snotty. I almost called him Snotty, that makes, like, no sense. I'm now referencing Spaceballs. <laughs> That movie is so stupid, but it's still funny at the same time. Because, like, the jokes are actually pretty clever, in my opinion. And, yeah, that sucked. Redo! Yeah, I didn't think anything would be accomplished there. I'm going to leave that in because my commentary was good. Deal with it. <laughs> no goody, he's got a wagon star, too. Fire! It sounded like Sora from Kingdom Hearts when I said that. Fire! I can't imitate his voice, I'm sorry. I am not good at mocking uh, younger kids' voices since I'm an adult. Yes, you heard me say it, I am an adult. <laughs> I'm in my 20s, so that, that counts, right? <laughs> We're still not doing well with this uh, speed mission. It's really hard to keep your lap time above uh, 20. It's harder than I thought it would be. I want to do it with this machine because I can't think of any others that like don't suck as bad when you're like using the brakes. Oh, I still went too slow. I hate that. That that mission actually does suck. I don't like it at all. <sighs> Again, not cutting out. Okay, you can all have little scooters. That way you won't be bothering me. It's a shame we don't get a speed boost here. Uh, but the Wagon Star cannot charge. That's another reason why I like it. The problem with the Swerve Star is the brake is too sudden that you'll drop from like your top speed to your uh, uh, to zero like within a millisecond. So that's why I don't recommend using that machine for this particular mission. Because yeah, it does go really fast, but because you also have a sudden brake stop with it, it can also go below 20 just like that. I don't know if you heard that, but I was like snapping my fingers. <laughs> Okay, I think I was still above 20. Yes, I was. Thank God. Wow, that was cool. I liked how that trail of stars kind of worked out for me. No! Stop it. Just get to the finish line. And then we won't have to look at this course for a while. Actually, we will have to see it pretty soon. With what I got planned next. Okay, no more of that. I forget, what was the next thing I was even going to do? Oh, Sky Sands, that's right. I needed to do uh, three laps, I believe, because we have to go through the quicksand. I totally did that mission. Why did that not... What? 
What? What? Oh, come on, that totally counted! Ugh! Man, you guys, what happened there? You know what? Screw that mission for now. I'm just gonna do the time. And I gotta think, what... Ugh. I keep using this one so much. It's gotta work. Let's just do the time mission, and we can be happy and move on. Okay, this is actually the part of the game, not only where it's sandbox, but you also get annoyed when you can't get certain missions cleared. Okay, maybe I want to avoid that little alcove. I'm pretty sure that's where you entered the quicksand at. Because... Like, that's the room where the sand is falling and everything. Did I ever get the mission where you have to hit all the sand coral? I don't know that I did, actually. I'm gonna do that again just to make sure... Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to because I want to keep a fast lap time. I'll worry about that later. If I didn't do it, I'm sure I'll do it sometime. Ah! Get out of the wall! No, Kirby! No! Just... I don't even know why I'm still going on about that. I got out of that wall. Oh boy, this game. <laughs> it's fun, but it can get annoying when it gets closer to the end. Alrighty. Yeah, just missed that shortcut, why don't you? Okay. I don't know that it actually harmed me that much, whoever had that microphone. If anything, it might have helped me. Because the finish line is right there. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good time. I figured I'd do fine there. Oh, two missions. We did something. Okay, what did we accomplish? Oh, what? That was very confusing. Entered the quicksand three times. Oh, is that the part, like, on the course where there's those spinning spirals things or whatever? I don't know. But we got it done. That's what counts, I guess.